We figured it out. We've got the layout of the room. It feels a little crowded. <laughs> Baby, we're children of summer. We're meant to be free. Party, we're not like the other. No reason to be. Hey, you guys. Welcome to the Wonder Family vlog. Today is an exciting day. Big day transition day big milestone day i'm really excited about it but also really really nervous you want to tell them what is it going to be and my room <gasps> we're gonna move tabor's crib into the room yay tabor's <laughs> excited he's like oh this is gonna be fun that's right so about when juniper Oh, did you not get to say your share? Okay, you say it. What did you want to say? Okay, say, hey guys, exciting time. Gonna be moving into the kids' room. <laughs> so here's the deal. We think it's time, hopefully we could be wrong, but we think it's time for Tabor to be moved in to Juniper's room. So it's no longer just Juni's room anymore, is it? It's yours and Tabor's room, he you guys. He got a card. He, he does have a card. You guys get to share a room. Isn't that so fun? Mm -hmm. You guys get to share hey. a room and hang out more? I want a card. He says, you have a lot. Can he have one more? No. Oh, can you give him a different toy to play with then? How about... Oh, look at this. That's such a cool toy. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move in Tabor's crib over to this side of the room. Um, and then I'm going to have the pack and play set up still in our room. So that way, like if it really doesn't go well tonight, um, we can just like put him in the pack and play and he can finish sleeping out the night in our room like he's used to. Um, and that way, if there's like a tr transition period, it'll just be set up. And also, I think we're still going to keep him having naps in our room so that like this room isn't totally blocked off for naps, especially because he's been taking really long naps lately. You've been getting so much sleep. Long, 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 long naps. <laughs> Which is amazing. Um, but I don't want Junie to be able to not be able to come into the room for that long. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm really excited. We moved Junie into your own room when I think she was about nine months. That's when she started really like sleeping the night in her own room. Um, this will be really interesting because they'll be sharing a room. Um, but I know we are definitely keeping Tabor up or Corbin is. <laughs> I feel like it's Corbin because sometimes, I don't know. I just feel like he's a loud mover when he sleeps. And they actually sleep really good together in the RV and they're right by each other. So I'm hoping this will work out okay. We're going to have some white noise machines going, probably multiple. They're going to be on separate sides of the room. So hopefully they don't wake each other up. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you going to help me? Mm -hmm. Look. Oh, that's a cool toy. Look. And a card. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay. So I think we're going to put the crib over here. We got to move some stuff around. Okay. We got the crib in. Now where is all of this stuff going to go? <laughs> I will find a way. I will find a way. We figured it out. We've got the layout of the room. It feels a little crowded. <laughs> I, I'm making dinner. You're making dinner? Good. I'm glad you're making dinner. That means I don't have to make dinner. You're going to make it? Thank you. I can make dinner all by myself. Oh, good. I'm so glad all she by... said she can make dinner all by herself. I'm going to show you the setup of the main things. We're still kind of organizing and we're going through the toys to make sure there's no like choking hazards that are in reach or anything dangerous like that. So we're going to go through the toys, um, organize, but we have the big furniture items placed and it feels manageable. So this is the kids room. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. They're going to share a room. I shared a room with my siblings. Um, basically the whole time I was growing up, I pretty much always shared a room and I really liked it. So I've always liked sharing a room. I just feel like when you share a room, there's just so much more, uh, time to bond and I don't know I really really like it so I knew I wanted the kids to share a room um, at least for a while 
probably not always. <laughs> when they get to be too old, they'll have to have separate rooms and we'll just have to figure that out when we get to that. But that's quite, quite a ways off. I think they can share that for a while. Um, so I'm really excited. This is what it's gonna look like now. And then someday in the future, when Tabor gets bigger, I'm so excited to get bunk beds because that's what I had growing up and it was so much fun. Plus it just really clears up a lot of space in the room itself. So, but I'm gonna show you how we laid it out. So basically it's kind of messy because all the toys are still all over the floor, but basically we've got Tabor's side of the room. I even have my chair. Basically we just took what was in our room and we placed it over here. We didn't get all of the wall stuff, but it does say Tabor, Tabor's side. It's so, simple and <laughs> calm. And then this is Junie's side. So we turned her bed to be angled to kind of make room for both of her big toy items. The kitchen is obviously gonna, you know, kitchen and dollhouse. Both kids can obviously play with as they get older and they want to, but so we've got the dollhouse and the dress up trunk. We've got her bed and then we've got the kitchen over here. And then we've still got quite a bit of floor space so there's still quite a bit of room to play and yeah it totally worked out and I feel like it balanced out with like the white of the chair and the bed even though they're not quite the same size I feel like it's it feels fairly balanced in here so yeah we shall now see how it goes tonight please go well okay it is that time we are officially testing out the kids room for the first time tonight. Tabor just had his bath. Did you have your bath? Oh. <laughs> Did you have your bath? Happy, happy boy. We got his bath. Junie is supposed to be coming into the room to get out everything she needs. Right, Junie? Okay. And we're gonna try this. Okay, Bubba's. You're all ready. You're so tired. You just want to play with the camera though, huh? So you're all ready? And you're about to go nanny in the big bedroom? Where's ready? You ready? <coughs> Junie's getting bunny ready. And you got all your things out. And then it's gonna be quiet. It looks like he's already asleep. We have it displayed here on the TV. He's moving just like a little bit. I'm gonna back away. <laughs> Don't want him to hear me. But um, the good thing is we actually just recently put in blackout curtains in Junie's room and our room where he's been sleeping does not have blackout curtains. So her room is actually a lot darker. Junie's calling me so gonna wrap this up um but her room is actually a lot darker so maybe he'll even sleep better um i definitely think he'll have an easier time going to sleep because where we are in idaho it doesn't get dark until like nine or ten um and even though i put like a towel over like one of the windows in our room it still wasn't very dark until the sun went down so that is a first plus on this situation i love you it's gonna be your turn to go in. Mm -hmm. Are you so excited? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Are you feeling good? Mm -hmm. Tabor's asleep in there. What do we have to do when you go in? Because now you're sharing a room. What are you gonna, what's different about that? We don't get, we don't, don't get toys out of the room. If you choke, if you, if you choke, we just say, Mama! <laughs> yeah, I did tell her. I said, um, don't give him any toys. And I said, if he happens to put something in his mouth, he's not supposed to. When he chokes, he, you have to yell for mama, huh? He, but what and else? I, he, he, as, as he chokes, you have to get him and then put him back in his room. Okay. Yeah, but we went through your toys, so I think we should be good. But if that does happen, yeah, you start yelling, mama, mama. Okay, and I'll be able to hear you. Okay. Um, but I don't think that's gonna happen, so okay. you don't need to worry about that. Okay. But we have to be quiet, huh? Okay. Isn't that the big one? Because mm -hmm. when we go in, because Tabor's sleeping, we now have to be quiet. Um, if you want to read a story or something quietly in your bed, you can, but 
no loud songs okay. or a loud playing like you like to do. You think you can do that? Mm-hmm. And then Bunny, where's Bunny? Bunny's right over here. Okay, we're sleeping because he, we, we don't get any toys. Yeah, no, he doesn't need any toys. He's just going to sleep. Mm -hmm. But if he wakes up, then Mama will come in quietly, but you can just keep sleeping. Okay, and we've got on two sound machines. We've got on a fan and a sound machine in there. So I think you guys are going to be okay. Are you excited mm -hmm. to share a room? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's read our story, and then I'm going to give you a kiss, and we're going to tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe into the room, okay? Okay. Junie does not go down quietly. She likes to play in her room, sing songs. What is she doing? Oh, she's getting out already. What is she doing? This is the real test. We'll see how this goes. Um, uh oh. Oh, she's coming. What is she doing? She's going to go get Oh. But Tabor is a pretty sound sleeper when he's like really asleep. So hopefully this will be fine. They'll get used to it. I'm sure it'll just be a transition, but they're gonna get used to each other sleeping in the same room. Um, but I'll give you guys an update on how it goes. Um, hopefully it goes well and I get some sleep tonight. I did go ahead and set up the pack and play in our room. So if it's really not working, we can just like abort and put them in the pack and play in our room. But thumbs up for the kids sharing a room. I'm so excited for them. I know they're excited. Um, and it's just, I think it's really, really cool. So thumbs up for that and we'll see you in our next video. Be rare feeder. Bye.